Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 10th of September. I'm James Spann at the National Weather Association annual meeting in Huntsville, back in Birmingham in the office later today. Obviously, sizzling heat is still the big story for this week, but rain chances could increase late this weekend and early next week with a tropical wave, potentially. Let's talk about it. There's the upper look. Strong ridging across the southeastern states. That's the reason it's been so hot lately, and that thing goes nowhere in the short term. Got a trough back in the northwest. Temperatures all over the board this morning, 65 in Fort Payne. Feels pretty good there, but Birmingham in the city with the urban heat island effect. Birmingham at 78. Everybody in the 90s again today. There's the watch warning map. It's a quiet morning across the country, but could see some pretty rough storms over the high plains later today. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather for parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. And most of Alabama in the green, there could be a few isolated showers or storms this afternoon like yesterday, but nothing widespread. This is tomorrow. Again, some active weather for the Great Plains. And on day three, Severe storms possible well north and west of the state. And again, we could see a few isolated storms, but nothing widespread or beneficial. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The really big numbers way up north. Amounts in Alabama under one half inch. And this is through Tuesday morning of next week. But uh, if indeed this tropical wave comes into play, those numbers could be increasing in coming days. Speaking of that, here's the deal. There are three waves and a tropical storm on the board this morning. Uh, first off, Gabrielle is up in the North Atlantic. That becomes post-tropical today. Headed northeast. Got uh, one wave that is currently just coming off the coast of Africa. Another wave between the coast of Africa and the Lesser Antilles. And as you can see, the Hurricane Center has those in yellow. That means there is only a low chance of developing into a depression or storm over the next five days. And this is the five-day outlook. We note uh, the wave that is near the Bahamas, and that's the one to watch. That will be headed for the Gulf of Mexico. And again, just a low chance of developing into a storm or a depression. That's what you want. Uh, the best possible scenario here is for that thing to come up into the southeastern states as an open wave and just be a rainmaker and wet us down. And we hope it works out that way. Let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 060 run, valid this afternoon at 4. Big old nasty 594 heat ridge across the southeastern states, and a cool trough back in the northwest. And again today, lots of sun, hot, highs well up in the 90s. Showers are possible, but they should be very widely spaced. And that'll be the theme for the rest of this week. This is tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Lots of sun, highs in the 90s. Showers very widely separated. But on Saturday, a weak front approaches from the north and moisture increases from the south. And again, we've got a tropical wave down there in the eastern gulf. So uh, we'll mention a chance of showers Saturday. And then as the wave begins to come northward, uh, rain chances will increase. And again, we can't promise rain for everybody. This is a tropical system and there obviously is great uncertainty at this point. But uh, showers and storms will likely increase. Highs dropping back in the 80s. And Monday... Could be relatively wet. You can see that little surface load down in South Alabama that would represent a tropical feature. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. And again, highs would be only in the low 80s if this verifies. Then a week from today, this is Tuesday the 17th, a very deep trough in the west, ridging in the east. And again, the tropical feature moving east. And the better rain chances would be east of the state. But again, I stress this will change uh, the, the way this thing works out. We'll just have to watch it as it gets in the Gulf. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 19th. Most of the main wave action north of us, and that looks fairly quiet. We do note the GFS shows some type of tropical system down around the Bahamas, which is 10 days out, and this will probably vanish on the next run. Rain for Birmingham next 15 days off the GFS Ensemble. Numbers are coming up. The mean is between 1.5 and, and 2 inches. And after this week... 
Are we done for the 90s for the year? I don't know, but maybe. You can see uh, highs go back in the 80s and lows around 70 for much of next week with increasing rain chances, especially Sunday and Monday. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.